Erich von Manstein, born on November 24, 1887, in Berlin, Germany, was one of the most brilliant and innovative military strategists of World War II. Renowned for his tactical genius and operational expertise, Manstein played a pivotal role in several key battles and campaigns during the war. His strategic acumen and ability to outmaneuver and surprise his opponents earned him a reputation as one of Germany's most formidable military leaders. Manstein's military career began in the aftermath of World War I, where he served as a staff officer and later as an instructor at the infantry school in Dresden. During this time, he honed his skills and developed a deep understanding of military theory and strategy. His talents did not go unnoticed, and in 1933, Manstein was promoted to the rank of colonel and given command of a motorized infantry regiment. It was during World War II that Manstein truly showcased his exceptional abilities as a strategist. One of his most notable achievements came in 1940 during the Battle of France. As a key member of the German army's planning staff, Manstein devised a daring plan that involved a swift and decisive attack through the Ardennes forest, bypassing the heavily fortified Maginot Line. This audacious move caught the French and Allied forces off guard and ultimately led to the fall of France in just six weeks. Manstein's innovative thinking and flexible approach to warfare were further demonstrated during the Battle of Kharkov in 1943. As the commander of the German 4th Panzer Army, he devised a masterful counteroffensive that successfully encircled and destroyed a large portion of the Soviet forces. This victory, however, would be short-lived, as Manstein's superiors diverted crucial reinforcements from his command, leading to a strategic setback. Despite the setbacks, Manstein continued to adapt and innovate on the battlefield. In 1943, he was appointed commander of Army Group South where he faced the daunting task of defending the German front against the advancing Soviet forces. Manstein's tactical brilliance shone through as he implemented a series of skillful defensive maneuvers, stalling the Soviet advance and preventing a catastrophic collapse of the German lines. However, Manstein's career was not without controversy. He was known for his aggressive pursuit of military objectives, sometimes at the expense of humanitarian considerations. In 1941, during the siege of Sevastopol, Manstein's forces were accused of committing war crimes, including the execution of prisoners of war and the mistreatment of civilians. These allegations would later lead to his dismissal from command in 1944, and his subsequent internment by the Allies after the war. Despite the controversies surrounding his actions, there is no denying Manstein's impact on military strategy. His flexible and dynamic approach, coupled with his ability to exploit weaknesses in enemy lines, made him a formidable adversary on the battlefield. Manstein's emphasis on combined arms tactics and operational maneuvering influenced military thinking long after the war ended. After his release from internment in 1953, Manstein published his memoirs, titled Lost Victories, in which he provided a detailed account of his military career and his perspectives on the war. His memoirs remain an important historical document, offering valuable insights into the mind of a brilliant military strategist. Erich von Manstein passed away on June 9, 1973, leaving behind a complex legacy. While his strategic brilliance and innovative thinking are unquestionable, his involvement in war crimes stains his reputation. Nevertheless, his contributions to the field of military strategy continue to be studied and analyzed by military historians and scholars around the world. Eric von Manstein's legacy serves as a reminder of the intricate and multifaceted nature of war and the individuals who shape its course, leaving an indelible mark on history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.